I can hear the haters coming out already. This time I'm counting down what I believe to be the top 10 most overrated games of all time. Some of these are broken down into franchises as I didn't want one or two franchises taking up the entire video. Keep in mind that some of these games I actually do enjoy quite a bit. Just because I like the game doesn't mean it isn't overrated as all heck. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Now it's time to strap in and grab some ointment for your butts because it's time to count down the top 10 overrated games. Number 10. Number 10 is a game that was great in its day, but absolutely terrible by today's standards. It's low on this list because I feel like more and more people are coming to terms with that fact. GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64 still has people saying it's one of the greatest first person shooter games of all time. How is this possible? I can only assume these folks haven't played a single FPS game since the N64. The game controls like a sack of dicks and is visually unappealing. Its multiplayer isn't even fun anymore because of this, yet people will stand this game to the grave. I also want to give a shout out to the original Perfect Dark, a game that I've always found to be terrible. I don't know what it is about that game, maybe I just suck ass at it, but every time I play it, it's just so dark I can't see shit. GoldenEye 64 was at least a fun game in its day, but for people to consider it one of the greats is absurd. Number 9 Yes! Let the hate flow through you! Number 9 is an absolute classic JRPG. I'm talking, of course, about Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation 1. Don't get me wrong, Final Fantasy VII is a great game, but its fan base has pumped it up to be the end-all, be-all, of JRPGs, and that just isn't the case. There are plenty of better JRPGs out there, so calm your titties, FF7 fans. Final Fantasy VII is low on the list, however, because like I said, it is a great game with a decent story and great, well-developed characters. Cloud is kind of a boring main character, but the rest of the cast around him is so well done and likable that it more than makes up for it. Add this all to the fact that FF7 is pretty much what brought the JRPG genre to the mainstream, and you'll understand why it's so low on the list. So yes, Final Fantasy VII is greatly overrated, but is still a very important and great game. Number 8 Ah, the Pokemon games. What other series can get away with having next to no plot, barely existing characters, and slim to nothing when it comes to innovation? Now, I'll be the first to admit that other than Sword and Shield, I fucking love the Pokemon games. But, are they overrated as all heck? Absolutely. The games are incredibly simple, some games do have a bit of lore if you dig deep enough, but most of the time, the biggest innovations these games get is just adding 50 or so new monsters to catch, some of which are just carbon copies of previous ones. For showing that it's okay to be overrated and simple, the Pokemon franchise takes the 8th spot on the list. Number 7 Oh, here we go. Here come all the Soulsborne fans lecturing me on how the only possible reason I couldn't like these games are because I need to get good. These games are slow, clunky, and just all around boring. I kind of get the appeal because I did enjoy the first Neo game, but not enough to pick up its sequel. You really have to be in the right mood to play these games, and most of the time, I'm not in that mood. Before you start calling me a noob or whatever, you have to know that I'm a huge Mega Man and Castlevania fan. It's not the difficulty that makes these games awful, it's just the overall clunk, slowness, and lore that just does not appeal to me. The games are fine, but the fan base for some reason raises them up as the be-all, end-all of video games. The Soulsborne games are definitely the most overrated on this list so far, so they're locked in at number seven. Number six. Speaking of clunk, the Assassin's Creed games are jam-packed full of it. 
These games honestly have a few good entries in the series, but overall this is another franchise that's been completely blown out of proportion. The earlier games had this awful story about these objects that the Knights Templar are trying to gather throughout time or some shit, and the newer ones just pretend like that story never existed for the most part. The biggest issue with this series is that it's never really evolved much since Black Flag, and the gameplay is Omega class levels of clunk. From bad AI to having everything mapped to the fucking R2 button, the Assassin's Creed games are incredibly overrated. Seriously, try chasing someone or running away when the run, jump, and climb button are all mapped to R2, and you'll just find yourself getting caught humping walls all the time. Number 5 Another franchise that's incredibly important to the evolution of video games, but is also very overrated, are the Mario games. Super Mario Bros. 1 on the NES standardized the platformer genre and I'm forever grateful for it. But the slipperiness, cringy atmosphere, fanbase, and lore, if you can even call it that, are a huge turnoff. I've always found the Mario games slippery as fuck to control, not to mention the god-awful camera in some of the 3D entries. I get it, Super Mario 64 standardized 3D platformers, but that's not saying a lot when 3D platformers as a whole kinda suck. I've heard good things about Super Mario Odyssey, but honestly the last Mario game I actually really enjoyed was Super Mario World on the Super NES. For a franchise with so many entries in its series, you'd think there'd be more nuggets of gold than turds, but unfortunately that is not the case when it comes to the Mario games. Number 4 Another set of games that are bland as all hell are the 3D Zelda games. Again, Ocarina of Time is an important game in the history and evolution of video games, but to still consider it the greatest game of all time is absolutely ridiculous. The 3D Zelda games are chock full of one note characters, minimal story, and bland gameplay and puzzles. In a simpler time these games stood out, but today as a whole, the 3D Zelda games aren't as great as they're hyped up to be. Now 2D Zelda games, for the most part, these are the true cream of the crop. A Link to the Past, A Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening, and Oracle of Seasons are some of the best games on their respective consoles. The move to 3D just eliminates most of the charm and crisp gameplay that the 2D Zelda games have to offer, which is why 3D Zelda games are up here at number 4 on the list. Number 3 I feel like with some Final Fantasy VII fans, you could have a turd with the words Final Fantasy VII written on it, and they'd hype that shit up to the moon. Final Fantasy VII Remake was probably one of the biggest disappointments of the past 10 years. The hype before the game came out was real. Then we found out that they were going to be stretching 4 hours of Final Fantasy VII into a 20 to 40 hour game. The fanbase still blindly ate that shit up for the most part, but when some of the terrible changes to the plot started showing up throughout the game, this is where even some of the most die-hard FF7 fans began to turn away. From plot goes to having a quote-unquote final showdown with Sephiroth, to the awful combat system and health padded out enemy encounters, Final Fantasy VII Remake was a game that squandered its massive potential. There are still those blind fans that will swear to the grave that it's the greatest game of all time, but that's just untrue. Enjoy the game for what it's worth, but it'll never live up to our expectations of a true Final Fantasy VII Remake now, and you all know it. Number 2 These next two games affected me on a personal level. Their fan bases hyped them up so much that I actually fell for it. When everyone and their dog were hyping up Undertale and telling me to play it, I was so excited to get my hands on the game. I was told by people that it's the best RPG in years, and was exciting, smart, hilarious, and heartwarming. Unfortunately, after getting my hands on the game, I found it to be not a single one of these things. You play as a greasy, sleeping, boring-ass kid who mopes around going from place to place, eventually meeting up with these two skeletons that are just trying way too hard to be funny. 
It was like The Office and Rick and Morty all rolled into one. Bland and dull while trying too hard to be smart and witty, but falling flat. I can honestly say this is probably the worst experience I've had with a video game in the past 10 years, and all that hype was incredibly unwarranted. It's honestly because of this game that I've been hesitant to give the Earthbound games a try. Please assure me in the comments that the Earthbound or Mother games are so much better, and nothing like this literal snooze fest of a game. Number 1 The game that was hyped beyond any others on this list was Xenogears. I had the absolute highest of hopes for this game. I'm a huge mech and JRPG fan, and had heard nothing but the best about this shitfest of a game. You can watch my early streams of this one to hear and see the excitement I had going into it. Unfortunately, this game falls completely on its face around the halfway point, with the second half of the game being nothing but some of the main characters sitting in a fucking rocking chair telling me the story through walls of text. Not only that, but the camera and platforming in this game was beyond ass. Whoever thought they should put platforming segments in this game should be dragged out and shot with a beam rifle. Trying to climb these cliffs with a camera that's aiming down instead of where you're trying to jump to is more frustrating than most things I've experienced playing video games. The fact that if you touch a wall at all, you get like, suction to it for a split second, then lose all jump momentum and fall straight down, forcing you to redo all of the shitty platforming in that section again, is controller smashingly awful. Don't even get me started on the awful minigames and their shit-stained controls. Because of how excited I was to play this game, and how much I got burned by it, Xenogears had to top things off as the most overrated game of all time. The only positive things I can say about this game is that I really enjoyed the combat system, and the characters were all fairly well done. The story was also pretty damn good, but if you aren't gonna finish the damn game, just make it into a fucking anime miniseries or something. Thank you guys so much for watching, before we get to the dishonorable mentions, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and give me a follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 3 if you want to hang out live on stream. I've been doing a Kanak only run of Dragon Quest 2, as well as playing the Super Famicom version of Dragon Quest 5, and streaming my way through the Castlevania series on Sunday mornings. For dishonorable mentions, I've got to start things off with another game that I personally enjoy playing from time to time with friends. Phasmophobia is a great game, but only when played with the right group of friends. Playing with randoms online is almost always a boring experience, and let's be honest, this game as a whole isn't as great as it's hyped up to be. With countless bugs that'll sometimes ruin a 30 minute session to just being slow and tedious, Phasmophobia is definitely a bit overrated. Next up, of course, is the Call of Duty franchise. I really enjoyed World at War, but pretty much since then, they've been just crapping out the same game over and over again with new maps. Sure, the games aren't terrible by any means, but they don't deserve any of the hype they get. Of course, if we're talking about the newer Call of Duty games, then we have to bring up all the Battle Royale games. This genre or whatever was fresh for about two months, but has been so oversaturated with mediocre bullshit that there's really no reason at all to get hyped when a new Battle Royale game, update, or mode is being announced. Last but not least is the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Originally these games were on the list, but since Kingdom Hearts 3, the hype for this series has all but dead. Even long term fans of the franchise have turned their back on the game, which is honestly disappointing because of how much potential this series actually had. That's it for the most overrated games of all time, what are some games that you'd consider to be greatly overrated? Make sure to tell me in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching.